Have you shared with us a um, personal guidance that you that you take as your byword in life and that you've generously shared with the youth ministries you train and perhaps that are watching this? Faithfulness is enough. Mm -hmm. Almost a, not by me, but through me. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know that, that that can be applied in many different settings, but for you, it's your leadership and stewardship at Youth for Christ. Mm -hmm. Tell us about how you bring that faithfulness enough to such a complex organization that's present around the world, which just makes an awful lot of demands on your time and others. Tell, tell me about that ministry a little bit and your vision. I, th I think that it may be the complexity of the organization and the mission that's driven me to try to find this kind of simple, uh, you know, eye of the hurricane, if you will, uh, from faithfulness is enough. Uh, there's so much, there's so much about the cause that I feel that God has called me to that's, that's so compelling that I could be a relentless salesperson everywhere I am. I'm just going to lay my cause on you. Uh, and by the way, we have to raise money, so I'm going to lay that on you. And, and if I play that out, do I, I want you to just give me money. That's all, you know. So now we got a transaction instead of an authentic relationship. I don't want to live like that. I don't want to be that salesperson. I don't want to be transactional. How do I get past that when I know we need money? I ask you to do what I want to do. Ask God. Ask Him where to give your money. Give your money. Now let me tell you the story of Youth for Christ. If that's where He gives you, directs you, that's fine. But you know, Youth for Christ exists for kids like I was. I was not a church kid. I thought that I was a Christian because I grew up in America, and it's a Christian nation, and I would have voted for God, you know, if I had that chance. <laughs> so I just, that's what I thought. I was clueless. Uh, we use the term lost, and that's sometimes offensive to people. Not if you think of it as clueless, because <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Stumbling around, not knowing what I didn't know, somebody introduced me, invited me to join them at their church in a musty basement, where I heard something I'd never heard before, that I could have a relationship with God. That's who we are in Youth for Christ. We're just so eager to do that. And I, I'd want everybody to do that, to join us in this cause. It's a bodacious cause. We want to reach a million kids with 200,000 authentic creationary relationships. That's what we want to do. We're going to take a lot. But I don't want somebody to enlist because they were so persuaded by my inspirational stories that it somehow did an end run around their own obligation to live with Jesus and be faithful to him. Actually, do I trust Jesus to staff the ministry and the, and the burdens of Youth for Christ that we've got? That's my, you know, that's my home base. Absolutely I do. Absolutely I do. But to do that, I have to, I have to be careful and vigilant that inside of this parachurch organization, and by the way, there's over 40,000 denominations in the world, so we've all got our organizational allegiances and our causes. And where do we go? We go to Jesus. Really comfortable going to Jesus and letting him sort it out.